Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 5, Lesson 2, What is Light, Part 2. We're going to start by going over some of the key vocabulary words you'll be hearing in today's reading. Our first word is illuminates. Provides light, brightens, makes something clear or easier to see or understand. Our next word is energy. Force or physical power, what living things need to exist and be active. Our next word is light waves, the invisible rays that carry energy in straight paths. Our next word is particles, tiny or very small bits of something. Our next word is rays, lines of light that travel in a straight path from a bright object. And our last word is shadow, an area of darkness created when light is blocked by something. We are now going to move into today's reading. Good morning, my friend, said a smiling Mr. Samuel Van Lumen. It is good to see you. I see you are already working, replied Mr. Jack Audrey as he pushed open the creaky garden gate. What are you painting today? Well, I'm painting the roses that have just begun to bloom, replied Samuel. I'm taking advantage of the early morning sunlight. As you know, my eyes are not what they used to be, sighed Samuel. Sadly, I can only paint for an hour each day. You will have to speak up, Samuel. I'm a little hard of hearing, you know, said Jack with a laugh. How about we sit for a while under the oak tree, replied Samuel. I have just made some lemonade. I am hot standing in the sunlight, and my eyes are tired. Samuel and Jack walked slowly toward the shade of the giant oak and settled themselves into two comfortable garden chairs. Samuel picked up a pitcher of ice-cold lemonade and poured it into two sparkling glasses. Both men were silent for a long while until at last Samuel spoke. I have been pondering life, said Samuel, speaking loudly so that Jack could hear him. I have such wonderful memories, and you are in many of them. I am glad to hear that, said Jack. Now that your eyes and my ears are failing, we should strike a deal. I will be your eyes if you will be my ears, Jack exclaimed rather loudly. The two men laughed. At that precise moment, Samuel's dog, Alfie, came to join them. Alfie stretched and yawned and curled up in the shade between the two friends. Tell me, said Jack, what is the painter's most valued tool? Light, shouted Samuel. Let me tell you why light is so extraordinary. Samuel lifted himself out of his garden chair and stood beneath the giant oak. As he stood, he gazed out into his beautiful garden that was bursting with color and scent and began to speak. Our main source of light and heat is the sun, a hot star of glowing gas. Samuel smiled as he went on. Light illuminates objects and makes them visible. Light spreads out in all directions. Because of light, our eyes and our brains are able to form pictures of the world we live in. I have spent my life painting those pictures. Light gives us every sunrise and every sunset. Without light, there is only darkness. Jack stared up into the sky. I've always wondered how exactly light reaches us on Earth. The sun is more than 92 million miles away. Samuel nodded. It is difficult to comprehend how it takes a mere eight minutes for light from the sun to reach us here on Earth. Light travels in the form of tiny waves called light waves explained Samuel. These light waves travel in straight paths called rays. Rays of light waves travel at the fastest speed possible in a vacuum, a place that has no tiny particles or bits of matter. Because most of outer space has very few particles, it is a vacuum, and light travels there at the remarkable speed of approximately 186,000 miles a second. Jack sat shaking his head and then took a sip of the refreshing cool lemonade. That is a lot to think about, he admitted. It sure is, agreed Samuel, smiling. Scientists are still studying and learning many new things about light, including that in special situations, light can act like a stream instead of a wave. Jack shook his head. Figuring out how light works must be complicated, but it is indeed fascinating. Samuel nodded. Light from the sun reaches Earth because it can pass so quickly through outer space. There is almost nothing to block its path. Once light reaches Earth's atmosphere, it slows down a little bit. The atmosphere is like a blanket of air full of gases and moisture that covers the Earth. This blanket of air slows the light down. Then, Samuel continued, the speed of light slows down even more because objects start getting in the way of the light rays. Samuel pointed to the lemonade. For example, rays of light waves move more slowly when traveling through liquids such as this lemonade. Then Samuel pointed to the oak tree. Light waves cannot pass through other objects, such as this beautiful oak tree, because rays of light waves travel in a straight line. They cannot bend around the tree 
either. Instead, they leave a shadow or shade on the other side of it. Well, I, like Alfie, am enjoying sitting in the cool shade where there is clearly less light and heat, pronounced Jack as he sipped his lemonade. At that precise moment, as if he heard his name, Alfie leapt up from under Samuel's chair and jumped high into the air in pursuit of a buzzing bumblebee. Both men stopped talking to watch the dog's frantic attempt to capture the bee, but to no avail. The bee seemed to float away on the warm summer breeze, no doubt in search of a sweetly scented flower to pollinate. Another important thing to remember is that light is fuel for our planet, announced Samuel. Light is energy. Energy from the sun supports all form of light on this planet. Without light and heat from the sun, the farmer would not have food to harvest. In fact, we could not even exist on Earth. Hmm, speaking of food, exclaimed Jack. Yes, indeed, said Samuel. I think I have exhausted both of us, and it is almost time for lunch. What do you say we go into the kitchen and get something to eat? I say that's the best thing I've heard all day, laughed Jack, and I smell something delicious coming from the house. The two men made their way into the coolness of the kitchen and prepared themselves a lunch of homemade zucchini bread and fresh fruits and vegetables gathered from Samuel's garden. They sat at a table next to the kitchen window and talked about old times as they ate their meal. They recalled how they had first become friends in elementary school. They had been in the same third grade class together and they had both been keen basketball players. They had gone to high school together and then on to the same college where Samuel had studied art and Jack had studied music. They had even been soldiers together. Eventually, Samuel and Jack had both married and had children. Their wives became good friends and their children grew up playing with each other. Sadly, both of their wives had died. Their children were now adults with children of their own. Before they knew it, several hours had passed and the bright sun had set. Samuel and Jack were now sitting on the porch in the shimmering twilight. Sounds of various night creatures were beginning to echo in the still of the evening. It won't be long before the stars are twinkling in the night sky and the moon is shining bright, said Jack. It is almost time for me to go. Samuel gazed silently at the emerging night sky. They sat together enjoying the cooler evening air. Eventually, Samuel spoke. Isn't it amazing that stars make their own light, but the moon does not? Sunlight bounces off the moon to make it look like it's shining brightly in the night sky, mused Samuel. Of course, I could sit here all night and talk about why light is so important, not only for myself as a painter, but for our very existence, he said contemplatively. That's a fact, replied Jack, smiling at his friend. Samuel smiled too. Jack, how about we go fishing tomorrow morning, asked Samuel. Sounds good to me, said Jack, as he stood up to go. As you know, I'm the better fisherman. It will be a miracle, Samuel Van Lumen, if you catch a single fish. We'll see about that, exclaimed Samuel, as he watched his best friend walk slowly down the garden path and through the creaky garden gate. You may now move on to Unit 5, Lesson 2, Google Form.